It's time for the Gizwiz with Maz Mattis writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1,990, recorded Thursday, May 30th, 2024. Oh, six eyes. On this episode of the Gizwiz, Dick D. has a mini, what the heck is it, a super duper comfy chair, and I have a way to organize your groceries in the car with my off-price retail gadget, plus your videos all next on The Giz Wiz. It's the same show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Giz Wiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing growing LEDs. Get ready for The Giz Wiz now. Now, now, and here he is. Our gadget pathologist, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, Sarah. And you? Doing good. Doing great myself. I like your shirt. Thank you. It's my uh, my Coca Cola merch. Although someone in chat said it's 80 degrees in Florida. What are you yeah. doing with a sweatshirt? Yeah. Listen, when I'm on the Gizwiz, I like to look up a, a little bit better than I normally do in my normal life. You know, it's almost like getting on uh, an airplane in the. 40s, you know, like big oh. deal, like exciting time. It, yes, yeah, yes. Okay. In the, yeah. in the 50s, when, when was the airplane invented? 40? Where, where getting on an airplane was almost was something to a enjoy. Little classy, you know. And uh, we were talking in in uh, before the show, and I have discovered I own no more button down like what you're wearing, just a normal yeah. kind of shirt. Um, Somehow I've regressed in age since when I started the the Gizwiz, right? Like, <laughs> I used to wear nice clothes. Now I only have t-shirts. And so I find that uh, a sweater, a, a, a little crew neck, is a nice way to dress up. But you're yeah. right. I am absolutely sweating. You know, I'm doing it for... <laughs> I am doing this for the video. Just to look good wow. only for... I think there was a... Uh, uh, a, a clown <laughs> that I was friends with. His name was Bonzo Crunch. And he used to say, you know, he, you know, I was talking about his costume and I'd say, gosh, you sweat a lot when you do your act, your clowning act. And he goes, yeah, I wear polyester. It's so hot, but they say it always looks good. So whatever. <laughs> and that's kind of how I feel. Eh, it looks good on camera. Yeah, I might be sweating, yeah. but. It's only, it's only a half hour. It's only a <laughs> exactly. half hour. Exactly. It looks good for half hour. Exactly, exactly. So this is a, this is a long way of saying this is how I dress up nowadays. Is I put on a sweater. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Do, do you own a suit? I do own a suit. I oh, do own okay. A suit. Well, you beat me. I do not own a suit. I anymore. should. Well, okay. So I own two suits. One wow. was wow. from Alibaba. <laughs> It cost me, I think, fifteen dollars. No, actually, I think oh. it ended up costing me about fifty dollars. Actually, I think it was a fifty fifty dollars suit. Suit, um, and then the other one's like, a, I think it's like from Macy's or something. You know, it's like a not Macy's, no, uh, J C Penney. J C. It's like one of those. I had to go to a wedding. Oh, okay. I was like, I'll just buy okay. a suit. Um, so, I yeah. even own it. I I do own a tux that's been in the warehouse now probably twenty five years because. I did two crossings uh, on the on the canard ships as a, as a lecturer. <laughs> oh! And you have to have oh, that's a cool. tux. Yeah, that was that was the most amazing okay. thing. I signed up with this lecture bureau, and the person said, "Canard has hundreds of lecturers." He said, "So it could happen." Two years, three years, but at least you're on the list. And then I'm going to move my camera up just a touch. Um, and then one day I got home and my phone, there's a message on my machine that said, this is so-and-so at Kennard. A person, you know, do you know who Jack Benny is? Uh, no. Uh, okay. Jack Benny was a, a, a radio comedian and then a TV comedian. Uh, Jack Benny's daughter uh, is a lecturer on the ship. But her companion has fallen out, and we need a lecture for this Friday. This is Monday. <laughs> and you must be able to do two-hour lectures with a half hour of Q&A after each lecture. And we are making this offer to five people, and the first person to call back will uh, be booked. And we are offering 
a first class cabin and first class dining. <laughs> Dennis back then did not have an answering machine. I called every eight minutes. I finally got him. I finally called Kennard back and said, well, you're number one. Oh. And Dennis said, this is wonderful. And I said, yeah. Now between now and Friday, we need to create two one-hour yeah. shows. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You're like, and well, we, time uh, to get to work. Yeah. And then and how long it. was the uh, voyage? The voyage was four and a half days. Oh, wow. That yeah. is cool. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, I did uh, Backstage at Mad Magazine was one. And back then I was doing a lot of ripoff stuff. And another lecture was schemes and scams, ways people try, uh, ways people try to part you from your money. Ah, see, when you originally and, said ripoff stuff, I thought you were going to say, yeah. And then I watched the lecture before me and I just did his act. It was easy. I, know, yeah, I just ripped yeah. him off. No, I, ways people cheat you, and the the place was packed. And and after what the program manager said, that is the most people who ever came to a lecture. So evidently, people with money it didn't want to get to scammed. Know, want to know about scams that they should be aware of. That is so, so anyway. cool. So I'm surprised they a, didn't get you if it was the most popular lecture ever. You weren't doing lectures all the time. Did they reach uh, back out? Yeah, was no, this a nice I, little I guess, side uh, hustle? I guess because they have hundreds of people to choose from. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. But, Man, that is... But I have my cool tuxedo story. in the warehouse in case they call again. For the longest time, I did actually have a tuxedo because we needed it for high school... Uh, um, Band and that sort of stuff, and they had a deal where you could instead of renting the tuxedo, uh, tuxedo you could buy it because we'd need it for like a few different uh, oh, okay. things. And uh, for a long time, I still was my high school size, so it <laughs> I had a tux for a long time. Um, and it was funny because I didn't have a suit or anything, but I was like, I could go in a tux, <laughs> but I don't have a suit. It's sort of your same situation. Um, Cool. Very, very cool. Anything else that's been... Um... No, no. It's just so funny. Is um, We have three empty stores on 82nd Street and Broadway. And Dennis and I keep saying, we need a food store. Uh, nearest yeah. supermarket is seven blocks uh, uptown or seven blocks downtown. And so just before the show, I get this thing called the West Side Rag, which is all local newspaper. And said, OK, the corner store, 82nd and Broad Street, has finally been rented and it'll be a legal weed shop. You don't need that at all. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my not the gosh. type of grocery. No, you were like, no. I need a grocery pharmacy, not just the pharmacy. Yeah, part. exactly. Okay. Exactly. So. <laughs> Darn we'll see it. how it works out. Darn it. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have any. You know, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't think I have any. Any other? I'm watching this upload, and it says that it has 30 seconds left. Oh, I, we can do 30 seconds. <laughs> but we I don't know do if it's going to have to process or not. Um, and so uh, I'm not actually sure. No, I know. I'm doing uh, next week. David Pogue is coming over. Uh, he's one of the hosts on CBS Sunday Morning. And we're going to do a bit about the Mad Show, which is uh, opening at the, uh, let me find the exact city it is. It's the Norman Rockwell Museum. It's going to be there for a long time, from June 8th to October 27th. And the Norman Rockwell Museum is in Stockbridge, Mass. Uh, but they're doing the uh, uh, video here. And David Pogue is a huge a uh, mad fan, so we should have a lot of fun. So, is this video going to be in the mad exhibit? Is it going to be? Oh uh, no, it's going to it's going like to be a, it's going to be plugging the the museum thing. It'll probably run on uh, a week from this Sunday on CBS Sunday morning. Uh, uh, it is a weekly show on CBS, uh, actually a very popular show. So it'll be on that talking to the editor, John Ficarra, and me about the show. That's great. So, That's awesome. Yeah, it's great, yeah. Um, and, and, and it's just a whole bunch of mad stuff. It's just uh, mad it's, through history. Yes, exactly. And, you know, tons of original mad art. A lot of the mad artists 
have sent work in for them to exhibit and it's going to be it's a sizable museum and it's going to be like more than half the museum is going to be all mad stuff and i've done several videos for it that are going to play at the show so it should be fun that's great that's awesome yeah uh yeah. in another bit of mad news i yes. saw something that i guess won't be at the mad museum because i saw it in person and i recorded a video about me ch checking it out, so I wanted to just show oh. you. Oh. Hey, Dickie D, uh, I'm here recording a video at Deserland Park. Now, Deserland Park is this insane old mall that was bought and then they decided to put a ton of attractions in here. Obviously, go-karting, oh. you can see the go-karting behind me. Oh There's my There's also an auto museum that has over 2,000 cars in it. There's like, <laughs> there's an arcade. There's a trampoline park. It's this crazy space. But I ran into something here that I didn't expect to run into that I had to show you because what on earth am I supposed to do with this? Uh, Alfred <laughs> E. Newman car, a mad magazine car. Now the auto museum, there's an entrance fee to go to it, but they have a few vehicles out and about just for people to it's like oh, give you a taste. Uh, but, but check this out, the Mad Magazine and the Vo, is it Volvo or Volo <laughs> Auto Museum? Volo. Is this a Volvo? Oh it doesn't look like yeah. one celebrating 50 years of success. Congratulations for 50 years of success. I can't tell oh. if it's the Mad Magazine or the Auto Museum that is successful. What, oh my worry? gosh, that is a bizarre <gasps> thing. Newman here looks like his head could move. I'm wondering if this is a giant bobblehead, which would make that oh, even maybe. better. You're gonna have to let me know. I also, if you know Dickie D, also check out the hands that are on the wheel. Oh my gosh. That is just <laughs> driver Alfred E. Newman in quotes. That, um, and you know, there was a Mad Magazine look at, race look car. Look at that detailing on the door. <laughs> it's like ribbed. And then oh luckily you have a spare and a, a trash pail just in case you need it. <laughs> But there you go. But the Alfred is that part e. of the Newman. exhibit or he <laughs> got it there? That she didn't know it existed. I think I think um, they're still they getting ready to, to take out of the trash. And uh, oh, so okay. Dickie D, I said <laughs> you could probably take it. I'm sure you'll find some spot for it, maybe just right outside the brownstone. I think uh, that'll be that'll be great. <laughs> yeah, if they need to get rid of it, uh, they need to go oh talk to you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's a riot. <laughs> That's a riot. So yeah, I saw that and it was just like, oh my gosh, I have got to show Dickie D. <laughs> what are the what are the chances? Oh, look. slim, 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 very slim. Look, uh, Scooter X has found a image, I guess. Oh my gosh, that looks like the very car. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm not sure where Scooter X. Scooter X, I, I have a model of a mad dragon. No, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> What? Where? They need to go talk to um, the museum, because this would be quite the piece. Maybe they can get it on loan. Uh, that's yeah. a riot. <laughs> um, that's exciting. Okay, wow. Uh, the, that, that's exciting that you're recording um, a nice bit. Uh, for, yeah. for. Are you going to plan to go make it to the... The museum? Are you going to be able to make it over? You, you know what? I'm uh, right now. I've signed up for an awful lot of Zoom stuff, but at some point, uh, I hope to get up there. That's so, cool. yeah. Cool. Let's jump into some gadgets. Well, let's jump shall in. We? Okay, uh, we'll watch the first video. It's self-explanatory. I wasn't going to do this as a "what the heck is it," but I'll try anyway. Uh, uh, um, what the mm. heck? Is it? It might be very easy or very hard. It's uh, for carrying some sort of electronic device. Is it a sunshade? Okay, I'll give you that. Okay. Oh, uh, that's so. This is, uh, according to reviews, a really compact way to travel. Toilet with an amazingly large knapsack. This, is a, this thing it actually turns out to be pretty into neat. Into itself, and my question is. If you unfold it, will you ever get it folded up again? Okay. Uh, uh, um. So we are. Oh, good. Oh. 
<laughs> Remember that thing that you, you, uh, on the airplane, you inflated and you put your arms in it and the thing? How could we forget? Uh, that's still half inflated in my apartment. I cannot get that back. It came in like a bag like this size. Uh, wow. There's obviously no instructions as to how to unpack this. Oh, okay. Um, boom. All right. These are... Oh, so the bag itself... Oh, it doesn't come out of the bag. Oh, it the is bag the bag. itself folds up to become a compartment. And this is, you know, right. what? this is pretty neat. What this is great for, as you saw how, how small it was, is to pack this when you go traveling. And if you buy a lot of stuff, just unpack this at the end. Of course, you'll never get it back in that envelope. <laughs> what I used to do. Years ago when I traveled a lot, I had a special bin. And in that bin, I put all my clothes that I was pretty much through wearing and didn't feel like wearing anymore. And then I would take that, pack that for CES. And I would wear everything. And then outside of C, uh, CES, there was a used clothing bin. And I threw everything in that bin because I really didn't want it. And then I had empty luggage because I brought back a ton, back in those days, a ton of literature and a lot of gadgets. So this is really neat. Um, so there's pockets on either side. Uh -uh. Little reflective. This is for umbrella, a water bottle. Let's see the, uh, people were really raving about this. Okay. Uh, compartment here, compartment down there. The big compartment is said to hold a 15-inch laptop. Let's open that up. Looks like a ton this of pockets. Is, it, it, is, it is, isn't it? It's a 30 really liters, whatever that a is. A ton. It's <laughs> that oh, and there's wow. money in there. Look at this. This is really great. And the, the thing it came in is a front pocket. And do they give directions how to put it back? No, no, we'll try that. But uh, uh, there's one uh, uh, also very inexpensive, under twenty. Took a bit of doing, but look, okay, oh. it's just uh, uh. There's a little, there's a <laughs> in the back. Since you, since this handle is how you carry it, that means this handle has to be on the outside somehow. Somehow, all I need to do is get all of this in there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's going to be messy. It's a crazy, crazy plan. It's going to work. Wait a minute. Even, Wait one minute. Even you can put it back I, in. I, I could hardly believe it. I wish you could do that with that airplane. Oh, <laughs> thing. this is a piece of cake. <laughs> wow. All right. We have, we have new sound effects on the Gizwiz. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the that's the winner bell from Giz <laughs> uh, Giz mm, 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 Giz from Fizz. Giz Fizz did us. Ah ah ah! And that wasn't even folding in neatly. No, that was stuffing and praying. I'm impressed with myself. I mean, I'm not going to get a job with the company demonstrating it. And the company is uh, um, Multisoft. Visit the Multisoft store. Almost 450 ratings, 4.6 stars. Uh, I think that's really neat. And it's a water resistant, not waterproof. Okay. okay. Well, there we go. I like uh, now. It has a lot of compartments. Not much padding. No, it looks no, like no padding. No, absolutely, oh, padding. absolutely not. Uh, no. None. But if you need to carry a lot of stuff. It seems like a great option if you're traveling and you're like worried about how many souvenirs you might buy. <laughs> yes, exactly. You're like, I'm, I need exactly. a backup. Yeah. Or you're going a to a clothing backup. sale and you're worrying about <laughs> not having enough shopping bags to bring it home. Just roll everything up. You can put a ton of stuff in there. I like it. I like it. Uh, not too expensive. 20 bucks. 
Yeah, is the coupon still there? I think there was a coupon for eight percent off. More. What an oh, interesting just 8%. amount! Oh, they raised the price eight percent. Yeah, and then yeah, the price is more. Oh, wait, wait. join Prime to buy it for twenty bucks. So then, oh, okay, oh, okay. So it's, it's only because I'm not bucks. signed in. Okay. okay. Um, interesting. Oh, and, interesting. And it comes in a couple of colors. Yeah. It looks like there's a whole bunch of uh, variety. Look, is this like the same type of thing? But I guess it's less liters. Oh, no, 20 liters as well. But it's not eight. No, no, that one's 30. Oh, 30. Oh, you're right. Boop. Yeah. I like the amount of pockets, zippers, compartments on the one you have. Because I've had a few inexpensive backpacks. In fact, this is probably one of them. Um, I think this one's from just Walmart. And it really doesn't, I have found that there's not enough pockets. Um, oh, right. Specifically. It is just, I need to divide my stuff more <laughs> than it is. So, like, in one pocket, I have all my wires, my headphones, my, you know, charging bricks, and all that is just kind of jumbled in there. I'm like, I, I need a little bit, a little bit more of a divider. Uh, oh, this, this could be it. Oh, and also, I think it said theft proof zipper can work a hundred thousand times. And I'm thinking, <laughs> what kind of a theft proof zipper if someone is opening and closing it every every 10, 30 seconds? Doesn't seem so theft proof to me. I also just can't believe that 101 time <laughs> stolen is yeah. stolen. Uh, it is uh, immediately I stolen. It's I, I pushed it. Yeah. I took it out one time too many. <laughs> you unzipped, the, and then poof, theft. Um, and it's no longer theft proof after that. Uh, okay, cool. Okay. Next gadget, All right. I guess. We're going on. And, and in this video, a rare appearance from Mr. Dennis Wonderland because it's his gadget. Ooh. But he wouldn't, he wouldn't do the report. Okay. Uh, he said, okay. you do it, Dennis I'll be wanted in. wanted a new chair to watch TV. So he went to Amazon. It had to be portable, okay? And it had to be easy to fold up and put away. And I found something on Amazon called the Comfy Chair from a company called Ocam. Uh, uh, uh. Mm, 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 mm. Whoa! All right. Comes in a bag. It is the comfy chair. Comes in a big bag. Well, it came in a box in a bag. All right. Mm, mm, mm. And. Let's see. Kind of weird. Square chair. And. The thing I liked about it is we looked at another one which said easy to assemble. And this one said totally assemble, open the box. Huh? Oh. oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that it's was so it. foldable. It's like a camping chair. Oh, you know what? Oh, it's a, uh, yeah. You can just take that thing around. Open the box. And. That does look comfortable. You have the comfy chair. I don't know if I'd be able to get out of that. Now, this is <laughs> going to be a quick shot of Dennis sitting in it, which took about an hour to convince him to do it. But this does look great. It so does look hang good. on and watch carefully. Ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Dennis Wonderland, what do you think of your comfy chair? I think it's groovy. <laughs> oh, groovy, groovy, okay. Uh, uh, um, let's see you get out of it. Is it easy to get out of? Oh, yeah. It's a okay. really nice height. It looks nice. Now, there was one thing about the comfy chair that is not good for warm weather, okay? It is faux fur, okay? I mean... It looks kind of nice in person, but then it's still going to be really warm. And cozy in the winter. Cozy in the winter. So I went on Amazon and I said, cover for a square chair. I and didn't even know there were square said, chairs. <laughs> uh, stretchy cover for all square chairs. And it gave the dimensions. 
and this square chair fit in with that. Huh! And if you wanted black, they don't make black. Is it like a futon? It's like a t like the other two a known we'll style. To take a look. It, it, it's a and, big oh, the chair, by the way, was big. A, um, I think sixty-five dollars, somewhere about that. And the the square cover is under twenty dollars. Right. It's just a big stretchy, stretchy fabric. Yeah. Fabric thing. yeah, it's like a fitted sheet uh -huh. for the yeah, chair. Yeah, the, yeah, exactly, exactly, and very stretchy mm -hmm. because it it said it fits all square See. chairs up to thirty six inches, I think. Once I get it on, I and for a minute I thought it wasn't going to fit, but then I thought it had a stain, and then it was the, the shadow of your face. Yeah, <laughs> your, yeah it's a shadow. Yeah. I was like, wait, whoa! And go away! It moved. <laughs> it looks great. So, I don't know why it's giving me a speaker. It's giving me speaker grill vibe. It, it like, does stop. look like a, yeah. <laughs> it does look like a, and I get it more scented. This will be pretty nice. That's crazy that it's a third party. It does. It fits really great. You have to be sitting in, in it to uh, sort of... To squish it in. The crease of that. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, that'll mat it mm -hmm. down a little. Ooh, well, this mm -hmm. is nice. This is very nice. So if you're looking for a folding chair, and actually, let's just see how to fold this up again. Oh, okay. Looks like... This is pretty... I mean, it works really well. You just do the all you see. Back. Oh, this is nice. Back, back. And then this back up. And... And it fits in that backpack. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. <laughs> That's it. The comfy chair is comfy. I, it folds up so nicely that I'm like, if you had an extra closet in your house and you just wanted seating for like a party, just yeah. keep, keep a few of those around. Yeah. Oh, and and it was, uh, you can check the price. I think it was... $65? Yeah, and there's a 10% off coupon. Yeah, for the oh, that 70. brought it down to 65 right. Yeah, I thought I paid, yeah, something. Right. Yeah. That is, uh, it and looks million, really comfy. A million, well, look at four, four and a half stars from 1,300 people. Yeah. yeah. And a, a lot of colors. Pretty much anything you want. Oh, that's not even a square chair. No, it isn't a square chair. So that's chair. A, like an octagon. <laughs> The heck? Uh, oh, and this own come with little footrests. <laughs> you can buy it. I didn't want the. You can buy. I think it's like ten dollars more if you want a footrest with it. That is so funny. And then, yeah, you're absolutely right about this. Like, it just is a square chair <laughs> brand. You want yeah. here? You got a square chair? You use one of these. Yeah. That is too funny. That, that's great. And for what you need it for, which is just a comfy it's chair perfect. to watch TV. It's perfect. When Dennis runs downstairs and wants to wa we watch a movie together, this is perfect because it can be folded up out of the way and and you're not sitting on some little dinky folding chair. This thing is nice and comfortable. When I had just moved into uh, the house in Dallas, I had <laughs> basically spent all my money on the down payment. And I was like, I need some furniture. <laughs> And this would have been a great little thing, especially in, um, you know, like our den area. Like, yeah. that, would have been, that would have been great. That would have been nice. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I think it's a nice, nice, uh, it, looks, it looks comfy. It looks like I could it, just snuggle in it. And then yeah, exactly. Out. Exactly. Um, oh, and, uh, okay. The last gadget is, looks bizarre. Well, okay. well you'll see. A couple of weeks ago, we did a inflatable travel pillow that was mm -hmm. enormous, and you blew it up, and you put your arms in the holes, and then you put your head down into it, and we all sort of agreed you had to be brave to <laughs> nerves to of use steel on an airplane. Yeah. So for that person who has no problem with that. Ta -da, ta -da. The next product Motion for you. Sickness glasses. <laughs> I have heard of thinking. these. You have them? Anti I don't have sickness. them. But it I've seen them. It almost sounds like it gives you emotion. <laughs> right. I so saw a picture of this and I, I had the They might. Well, 
again, if they solve the problem, great. But you have to be kind of brave to wear them. Uh, uh, um. And here they are. Okay. Now. <laughs> it's not just four eyes. You're, it's, there were six oh, eyes. They've been folded up so long. <laughs> Pack and W says new meaning that wore four eyes. I guess you. <laughs> oh, oh, that's very funny. You really have some it's extra. Like wow. anyway. Yes, yes. Dale Paco oh, says, yeah, there's six, now six eyes. Because there are no glass in them. Okay. <gasps> So the theory is there is <laughs> well, you think I need the f- it remind me of those glasses that Lena Lamont wore in the fact scene that of the rain. Oh yes. Those That's big white sunglasses. So the object here is see there's there's fluid here and here and in your peripheral vision. And I think as you turn your head, does the fluid stay steady? Yeah. I don't think you can. Yes, see. yes. Ste- steady to see? your to your to the horizon the position of your eye. Okay. Yeah, it st- it says well, he's it's locked to the horizon. To be, yes. Give you an artificial horizon line, and the instructions say that put them on and stare at something close up, like a book or your smartphone, for ten to fifteen minutes while the motion is going on around you. And motion sickness should disappear. Now I'll try again. Can you see the the liquid there? There should be liquid at the very bottom. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now if I tilt my head, <laughs> Dennis said I don't have my is glasses the on. So mm-hmm. staying straight. No, it's, it's moving. It's moving. Yeah. All right. So you know. What? I mean, it stays at a higher. I mean, it, it, the glasses are moving, but the, the water stays at the same level. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, then it's, it's yeah. doing it's yeah. doing yeah. what it's yeah. supposed to do. It's the it's, ears that look funny. It gives you <laughs> a fake horizontal line <laughs> that is said to stop motion sickness, sea sickness, car sickness. What's the point of the ear things? Of the, 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 these yeah. is... For so I I can't see him at all, but it says so that here, so it, it's there for your peripheral vision. Oh. Okay. Now the thing is, if you get car sick or air sick, this is a real easy thing to try out because they're under ten dollars. Okay. I mean, when I saw a picture of these, I thought I got to find out what they oh, are. Wait the money both. <laughs> Great for boats. Theoretically, great yeah. for a boat. I have no way to actually yeah. test them, but I know they look very strange. They're just uh, a plasticky thing, and it comes with a kind of a nice case. Uh, here it is. Neoism. Motion sickness. Look, it should be anti motion sickness. sickness. Yeah. <laughs> That is true, actually. Uh, 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 Motion sickness relief glasses. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> they cause motion sickness. Uh, for adults and kids. Oh, and it's thirty percent off. That brings it down to like six ninety nine. So if you have a motion sickness, this would be something to try. Um. It says, fix your gaze on a stationary object like a book or cell phone for just 10 to 14 minutes. The discomfort of car motion sickness will gradually disappear. Uh, I think it's worth a try. Uh, that's it. Neoism. N-E-O-I-S-M. I, I will oh, say... It- Go, go on. Have you tried them? I haven't tried them. Um, oh, okay. But I will say that I have seen these before on TikTok, and I have seen people's reactions to them. Now, take them with a grain of salt, uh, you know, but from what I've seen on TikTok, people say that they work. <laughs> they, I have seen... Oh, yeah, it almost seems like they should work, Yeah, not it? I have seen people, like, and I, I've also seen it um, in situations where they're not necessarily talking about the motion sickness classes, where I saw I saw the glasses a few months ago, and then I think about a few weeks ago, I saw someone reading a book just with them on and didn't even mention that they were the motion sickness glasses. They were just in the car reading a book, 
and talking about their trip. And I was like, oh, those are those motion sickness glasses oh. I saw like a month ago. And they didn't even mention him. So I would think that because they didn't mention it in the video I watched, they naturally use them. So that's kind of the only history that I know of, uh, of these type of glasses. And looking through the um, reviews, all the critical reviews seem to be about the build quality, about how yeah. bad they are, how they don't fit right. But all of the good reviews seem to be saying how it helps with their motion sickness. So, yeah. So I mean, the, the thing is, you, I mean, for six or eight or ten dollars, it's worth a try if you suffer from motion sickness. And I do. I do. And oh, you I, do? Specifically, not so much like boats, uh, you know, a little bit of like, you know, that motion uh, or like oh, uh, yeah. just being on a bus or being on, in a car typically doesn't cause motion sickness. But if I read or look at a device or do anything, you know, within that first three feet of my face and I'm moving in a car, that will definitely cause me to get nauseous. So... Um, I don't. I don't have very sensitive motion sickness, but I definitely get motion sick if I'm if I'm looking at a device pretty close to me. Um, uh, so I've I have honestly considered getting something like this uh, because of what I saw on TikTok. So I'm yeah. I'm, I'm interested. Actually, I'm amazed that someone doesn't make like a real decent pair of them for like fifty dollars. Yeah. That Seriously, would, like sell some in Walmart. Like, and, almost look like glasses, but be a, a smaller version of these they are weird yeah they are I, I don't know why you need those side panels but maybe I people with motion sickness with the... need them <laughs> yeah maybe yeah. the other thing is i just saw this 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 time for the first time look at these this is a different design they're not quite so oh aviation <laughs> yeah you can get some uh a different Type. Oh, finally, anti-motion, uh, fi anti finally. That's Someone what we needed the right. whole, well, wait a second, here it is. Motion sickness glasses, these will, wait a second, we need the anti. They added in the title, but not on the box. Oh, okay. That's funny. Um, so anyway, I, I, all I have to say is I, I have some secondhand uh, experience that they say they work, so maybe... Yeah. Luckily, they're not expensive, very yeah. inexpensive for uh, just a quick pair of glasses. So that's good. And as someone, as someone uh, in the uh, chat room said earlier, if they don't work, you can use them for the year uh, zero, 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 zero. Oh, yeah. For New, Year, New Year's Eve. Yeah. The way the world's going, I think we're going to have a reset. <laughs> You know, <laughs> yeah, I, think I really are. think that I think that there's going to be a reset pretty soon yeah. on those years. Yeah. So it's good to have them around. <laughs> With that, let's yes. move into the Crappy Corner. You don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. The, the last of our uh, off-price retail gadgets. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> yes, it is. It's the 30th. <laughs> it's the 30th. That's pretty hard not to be. Anyway, here we go. I recorded a video about it earlier, so let's check it out. We are at it with the last of our off-price retail gadgets, and today we are taking a look at this. As you can see, got it from Ross. Used to be seven bucks, now it's only four. And this gadget should help with the groceries. That's what I'm most excited about here. So you can see that uh, you basically attach it to the top of a seat, and then you can hang your groceries at the bottom. One thing to note, only a 10 pound limit that seems what? awfully low. So I have some groceries. I also have a car that it is compatible with. I'll say that I was shocked that my Tesla, I'll pick all this trash up in a second. The Tesla won't work with it because it uses this hook. The Tesla does not have a, uh, a headrest that has that type of wire. It's all integrated in to uh, one little, uh, little piece. So there is no way to actually use this with my Tesla, which is kind of a bummer. You have to have a headrest, a separate headrest. So here it is. You get these kind of like swoopy little hooks here. This should hook onto the headrest and it's nice and bendy. And that's really the whole gadget. So let's try it out. I'll just come on over here and hook it into the headrest 
And see, this was the issue that I don't have. The, it's all one seat in the Tesla. So be aware of your car if you're going to look for this gadget. But there you go. And now all we do is we would take our groceries and said, especially these kind of like ones that you don't want to get crushed, like bread, you could hook it <laughs> onto the hooks and oh, keep some of your groceries there instead of on the seat. Now, it only has a 10 pound weight limit. Or at least that's what it said on the, uh, on the uh, package. So I did want to kind of test its its uh, weight limit. Here we have uh, just some like seltzers. Uh, these are eight packs. So two eight packs, that's 16 cans of, uh, of liquid. So we're gonna pull this off and see, can it kind of handle a little bit extra weight? So far it's holding it. I may have to scoot the seat forward actually to get some extra space here, but it seems to be working just fine. Can't complain. You may want to actually oh, like, yeah. your seat to make it work well, but there you go. Bouncing down the road. I feel like this can hold a pretty good amount. I'm not I'm not worried about right. that. Uh, I think it's pretty that good. Limit. As long as I can kind of hold it, I think uh, that it's gonna be pretty good. But there you go, for $4, I gotta say that in order to kind of, A, easily be able to grab more groceries right here at the front of the door, and then B, uh, have just more space, and uh, especially some of the delicate things like bread, that might be a nice place to put it. So there you go, the uh, grocery bag hanging gadget. So was that a stranger's car that you went up to? <laughs> no, that, that is a, a friend's car that I oh, okay. borrowed for the, for the occasion. Oh, okay. um, and so finding online, the only thing that I was really able to find, find was it on Walmart and there's a two pack, but they were sold out. So uh, couldn't quite find it exactly. Also, this is a lot more than I you know, yeah, I, I got my. And they look the time. same because yours had that little lightning thing on the side. Yes, exactly. It's this Goodyear. It's Goodyear brand. So, oh, okay. They actually have a. a it's weird to have an actual brand name with some of these. Um, yeah, for such yeah. a weird thing. Yeah, I know. We make tires and grocery hooks. <laughs> That's what we're known for. Um, so yeah, all in all, I'm actually pretty uh, impressed with it. I like the little hook, how it's so thin and easily bends, so you yeah. can really get it under uh, a headrest. The sizing of it was perfect. Uh, it even like snapped in uh, just a bit, and I really don't see how a t the, that 10 pound weight limit. I don't know where they got that. From. That is a, not all, a lot. Like ten no. pounds is not. I, if I held a ten so pound people weight, like canned goods. Yeah, seriously. Like one can is like two pounds. Feels yeah. like. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So I I wouldn't uh, read too much into that. But honestly, pretty good. The way that it is described, I had a hard time uh, googling it. Uh. But it's the headrest organizer hook is kind of what you got to Google. Uh, there were a few on eBay um, as well. So, uh, you know, but this was, this Walmart one was the only one that was like an actual thing that you could buy. So there you go. Uh, that is the last of the off-price retail gadgets. I'm, I'm honestly sad to say, because this is a fun uh, mm -hmm. category to go looking for. Uh, the patrons will be deciding what the next category is. So if you want oh, to participate, soon. yes, very soon, uh, head on over to Patreon. Uh, make sure you are supporting us. That way you can um, participate in the next patron poll. Also, if for whatever reason you have an idea of what you want uh, to be on the poll, uh, we're going to put it to the patrons. Then uh, put it in the last crappy corner poll right now because I'm, I'm going to go check it later. So if you have an idea and you're a patron, make sure you go find the old one, put it in the comments, and then uh, I'll make sure to get your idea on uh, the poll. And this was actually came from, a kind of, the concept of it came from um, one of our patrons. It was like dollar store idea. I took dollar store, $5, and then off price retail. So get over to the patron and support. With that, let's head on to Dick's Gadget 
Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadgets Warehouse. Bob Horn. All right. Our email is from Jason Pedicord, P-E-D-D-I-C-O-R-D. And he has a very interesting gadget. And this is it. Now, Dick... Chad, I got for you what's called a pro platform. Wow. I've had these for several years. On this side, uh, on each side, you have a pair of buttons you push together. What? Lift the legs out. It's like a ladder, but it's a platform. Right now, push the other buttons, pull out. There's a button in here so you can set different pipes. Whoa. Yeah, I never saw this knee. As it is right now, say you got a pair of stairs. One oh my god! High, you can use it on a stairwell. Also, this is like a when you professional have step stool. Up, yeah, it is about the same height. Like a table. As a standard workbench or yeah. car horses. I've had these for several years. What? I love using them. I need to buy one. And uh, the new ones, because these are older, you can actually fold one leg up and attach another leg, another piece to it so that, eh, let's get that down. Okay. One up. Over here, they have a connection set up so that you can put two of these together and have eight feet instead of just four foot platform to work on. Hope you guys like it. That is I so cool. Them. I don't know what I've done without them on all, all my home projects. That is really a cool It's guy. pretty amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it and is. I found a link to the company. Uh, first of all, Jason said he paid around $110 uh, for each one of his. He's just showing one of them. But I found a little video of the new quick one. And there we go. So here's this uh, new quick one. Um, that yeah, this is the linking platform that, that yeah, that uh, uh, Jason had mentioned. So, yeah, you just put it into so another one, you fold one leg up, and oh I believe God. it said you can at- attach like f- up to five of them or something. <laughs> so, if you're doing a whole room. I mean, you, you're in for like six or seven hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. It, I hope you like my step stool. The whole set cost me yeah. a thousand bucks, but <laughs> it, it's pretty. It's pretty neat. I, I didn't know there was such a thing. Me neither. And uh, I can just imagine how. I, I mean, it being four feet wide. Whenever you know, I, I've I've worked on plenty of projects where okay, you get the the little ladder up. I need to move two feet. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Conk, 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 conk. Yeah. Choo, choo. Okay, back up the thing. Um, that's cool. Um, I love that it makes basically a table. Uh, this is just a cool, 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 cool product. I wish I had a shop. I wish I had a need for it. Just get join the construction industry just so that I could use the pro platform. That's uh, uh, so yeah, popular. no, it's great. So, That's Jason, awesome. what did I do with it? I just, oh, yeah. So, Jason, you will be among the first to get ta-da, the August issue of MAD, the summer bummer issue. <laughs> and if you want to be eligible for this, send in a video. Like, Jason, you can be in it, just horizontal. Make sure we see the gadget and hear your voice. Jason's video is perfect. Uh, anything to do with a gadget. Here's a gadget a few years old, but also he told us about the newest version, which is really a fascinating gadget. Um, so like Jason, get a video in, uh, put it up on YouTube. Video should be one to three minutes. And on YouTube, when you upload, there's a drop down menu. You can click unlisted and take that URL and email it to us, mail at gizwiz.tv. 
mail at gizwiz.tv. And if we show it, we're showing 99% of everything that comes in. Uh, you'll get the current issue of Mad Magazine. Okay. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it now. With that, let's move on to the letter. Our letters from Steve C., who writes, Hey, Dickie D. and Chad, since you guys like silly things, I thought you'd get a kick out of this homemade DIY water gun on Facebook. Oh, I thought it was his, but it's someone else's. Um, Since all you need to make it is a spray bottle. And here's the video he found um, on Facebook. Uh, uh. Somehow it's muted. Oh, here we go. Cop the bottle. Water gun ready. Let's make a water gun. Arrange water. Okay, let's just look at this. Uh, he, oh, he just uses hot glue. <laughs> you take, you take, a, you take a spray from a spray bottle. Yeah. Stick make a it hole <laughs> into a normal water bottle, and then hot glue it back on. It does look like a very good spray, like a good. It's a very clever. You could do yeah. it for free. I mean, yeah. just for... That's, <laughs> I like how it really does look like a good ray gun. It does. It has a great profile. <laughs> Did he just use a pencil to poke a hole, though? What is this pencil situation? Let Did he poke read. a hole with a pencil? That's a, <laughs> that's a very oh, perfect... What, he, he drilled a hole, and I think he was using the pencil to sort of Show get the you rough how, edges off. How it. big it needed to be, maybe? Yeah. Cause, uh, it's, it's very funny. Uh, it's very funny. <laughs> That's great. I would just use the hot end of that hot glue gun. Just oh. stick it in the bottle. Oh, okay. okay. That's, how, that's how I would do it. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe I'd just burn the plastic. I like it. Steve, you know, that's very funny. It's there was this funny. big craze of like five-minute crafts back in the day. Yeah. That, that reminds me an awful lot of that. That's, uh, that's pretty good. We need to do some more DIY gadgets, I feel like. We, oh, we, oh I, put, the, put that on your thing. I once did that. I feel like we need to, like, uh, I need to find a good site, almost. That's kind of why I wanted to do that 3D printed one that one time. I don't, I don't even know where my 3D printer is anymore. But anyway, uh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be fun. Okay, well, hey, I want to say a big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support of our show. If you support the show, thank you. However you do. PayPal, Patreon, thank you so much for your support. If you like the show, please consider giving back at patreon.com slash gizwiz or gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab and there's links there to Patreon or PayPal, however you want to support. Uh, speaking of Gizwiz.tv, that's where we record the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. If you're wondering if there is a schedule change, which I don't think there is for a while. No, I'm, I'm Thursdays good. Thursdays for, for a while. Uh, it will be at the top of the website, but I don't think we have... Um, once I say that, that means that next week's <laughs> show is going to get completely derailed. I typically say that, and then without warning, the show gets rearranged. Uh, but at the moment, uh, we're, we're pretty good. Head on over to gizwiz.tv to watch the show live. Or, if we're not live, uh, you can catch all the previous episodes there at our website, gizwiz.tv. While you're there, I was going to say play What the Heck Is It? But no, don't do that. While you're there, head to Diggy D's website, where he writes up articles about all the gadgets that we talk about on the show. So if you're ever needing a link back to a gadget... Uh, gizwiz.biz is the place to do it. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? is the official What the Heck Is It? Uh, where you get to guess what the gadget is. And this is the entire gadget, not just a piece or a part of the gadget. Um, and uh, this is obvious uh, to me that... Um, this is a magnifying glass that actually, it doesn't magnify. It miniaturizes, yeah. This is in, in case you need some, a better perspective 
on what you're oh, looking wow. at. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. very good. Yeah. Um, there are six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. That wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>